Hi, I'm Gemma Kearney and welcome to season five of Art and Technology. This year we're doing things a little differently. I'm here as your host for a start, but we're still bringing you incredible artists and technologists with new perspectives and brilliant ideas. This year's theme is Emerging Dialogues. It's all about conversation. Welcome to Art and Technology. As concerns about climate change accelerate every day, can art tackle the challenge of sustainability and address our perilous position? Our guest today merges technology and art into awe-inspiring immersive experiences, exploring our impact on the planet while offering hope for its future. Let's welcome Dan Ruzegaard. Hi, Dan. Nice to meet you. Where are you, by the way? I'm feeling awe-inspired by your background. Where? I'm in Indonesia. And so I, lo I love to be here in the tropics where, where I can use bamboo to build stuff in an easy and a fast way. But if you were to describe literally what you make to somebody who's never experienced your stuff before, how would you describe it? Oh, that's very simple. You want to make people curious about the future, not scared or oblivious, right? But we first have to imagine that we're the better world in order to create it. What I'm doing, that's prototyping, engineering, showing, sharing, experiencing, failing, learning, and to show, hey, we can make organic fireworks, or hey, we can introduce solar energy into our data. We need people like you. Taking manifestation or clickbait activism to a whole new level by putting it into practice. The projects I do start from an inspiration for that better world, but also from a sort of irritation or a sort of frustration that it can be done in a different way. So let's design, let's engineer a way out of it. And I really believe by showing beauty Right? by showing the beauty of this potential new world, that triggers change. Right? People won't change because of numbers. Light is the language, right? I love the project that I'm working on now where... Tell us. When you look at traditional fireworks, you get an increase 10 times in air pollution, right? So, so like, it's like, happy new year, here's a cloud of toxic air, right? <laughs> you know, maybe we could have done that in a different way. So in, inspired by the fireflies, we made spark, uh, organic fireworks, biodegradable. Uh, silence, not damaging people or animals, and it and it shows that we the traditions are important that we have, but we need to we need to modernize them. Being as bold as to say, you know, beauty can create change. I think requires a certain amount of courage. Would you say? Yeah, courage, and and what's the alternative, right? So that's the trigger for me to sort of say, no, we can do it in a different way. One night I realized we already have this amazing light performance in our sky which are the stars, right? right? But usually you don't see them because of... Pollution. What if for one night, we would switch off all the lights? Right? All of them, not the Earth. Out. Did you manage and to get away with that? A... People were up yeah, for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like yeah, if yeah, I suggested that, everyone would be like, Gemma, you're off your own car. <laughs> Design is not about adding, but about removing and about revealing and, and about sharing. I think that that's for me the future of design, creating these notions of awe again. There's something so magic about the dark as well. I'm really curious what kind of other shifts we will make in perspective, where we will learn the power of light, the power of creativity, to find a new harmony with nature. So, so, so yeah, we are forced to be creative again in this new world with our challenge. So I think it's not about a utopia, right? this perfect world we will never ever reach, right? it's this sort of rainbow in the sky we will never be able to touch but it's more about protopia, prototype, step-by-step -step learning and proposing. Your enthusiasm is contagious. I Good. am ready to turn <laughs> all the lights off and have a whole evening of stargazing. And we're just getting started. Join us for part two of Art and Technology, where Dan and I chat to Marianne van Albel a solar designer whose work is helping usher in a variety of solar futures. Can beautiful product design speed up the adoption of sustainable energy? Hyundai Motor, connecting art and technology. Mm -hmm. 